as a new day begins on Oak Island. Rick Lagina, along with his nephew Peter Fernetti, Craig Tester, and other members of their team gather at the Oak Island Visitor Center. Hi, you Brennan? I'm Brennan. Craig Tester. Nice to meet you, Craig. Nice to meet Finally. you. They have scheduled a meeting with representatives of Choice Drilling, a company that specializes in a process known as sonic drilling. So that's the rig. This is the rig. Unlike regular air or mud rotary drilling, which uses powerful drill bits to literally grind beneath the ground, sonic drilling uses vibrations to create a high frequency sound, which can literally pulverize obstacles. A coring barrel is then used to extract samples of earth and objects from areas as much as 500 feet deep. I think we all are quite curious how this, this rig works. We've never seen one before. Shall be a treat for you. Well, we got some real targets for you. We'll see. No, well, I'm eager for the challenge. Uh, it is Oak Island. It is. Let's head on back so you guys get set up. Right. Sounds good. Excited, good luck. I've always been against just guessing. I mean, the whole point of the seismic program was to find anomalous features underground in the money pit. Well, they targeted an area that's worth investigating, and thus, we're going to drill there. You can't get excited about that. It's time to go home. Assisting the team with their drilling operation is area geologist Terry Matheson. OK, so the surveyors put in the D line, D2 to D6. So there's our spot. So it's halfway between D and E, right on line six. So DE6. DE6 it is. Using last year's geotech grid as a reference, the team has decided to dig their first hole at a location known as DE6. Here, they hope to find not only a possible system of tunnels some 100 feet deep, but also a 30-foot wide chamber at a depth of approximately 170 feet. Yep, yeah, there it goes. You went through? Yeah, it went real fast. Excellent. Well, who knows what this is. Oh, goody. Wood? I think so. All right. Take the bit right over. Oh. Bring it on over. OK. That's. uh. 83, or 93, sorry. 93. 93. Wow. That's interesting. And like the way it's cut. I love it. It was laying this way. Yeah. Not standing up. It's laying yeah. like this. So it could be the top of a, a tunnel. Wow. Wood from a tunnel? But from what period? Could it be little more than the remains of a searcher tunnel? one of the dozens that have been dug on the island over the years? Or could it be physical evidence from an original underground structure, one that may have been put there centuries ago by the people who came to the island looking to hide an incredible treasure? Gentlemen. Hey, guys. Hi. Wow. What we got? This is what we came into at 93 feet. We came right out of the material into a horizontal beam. So it sure looks like it's, it's a tunnel. We've encountered a, what we believe to be a tunnel in an area where we have a target based on the seismic data, but we don't know what that means. It could be original work. We don't know, and that's what we're trying to decipher. It's exciting. It, it, it can't be just a coincidence. Definitely get this carbon dated. If it comes back really, really old, then Absolutely. we know it's original people. Exactly. Yeah. The discovery of a possible tunnel directly connected to the money pit offers exciting news for the Laginas and members of their team. It means that the seismic data they received from Eagle Canada was able to accurately pinpoint the existence of a structure located some 93 feet below ground. It also means that as they continue to drill down deeper, the team may also be successful at finding another critically important chamber, the one which they believe might contain the legendary Chapel Vault. Is this interesting? Absolutely. You know, it mandates that we continue. And we're going to continue to process, get down to where the anomaly is featured. Yeah. Exactly. 